All right, all right, all right. So we're starting the day off here with, uh, looks like Van Tech. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My name is Alex uh, N, uh, and I've been playing League for about like three to four years. Uh, I'm here joined by my co-host Dawes. Hi there guys, sorry about that. Had some technical issues earlier. But anyways, yep, yeah, Dawes here. I currently commentated last year's League of Legends. I'm back again. Right now we currently have, let's see, Bentec versus Oh, sorry, something just happened. Anyways, back in the game. How do you feel with the matches so far, seeing the first three characters of both sides of the teams? Uh, I actually think uh, it's a very interesting draft from the red side, uh, as they pull out the Vladimir and the Fizz with the double AP carries on each mm. solo lane. Uh, they're also bringing out the Graves right now, which I find really interesting. Uh, I haven't seen too much Graves in the jungle lately. It's usually been dominated by AP junglers like Graves or Elise. So it's really interesting to see this Graves come through for the red mm -hmm. team. What are your thoughts on the blue team with their first three picks? Blue team, I s it's been a long time for me to see a Hackram jungler. I guess, honestly, like, I haven't actually fought against any Hackram mains or users. So this might be at least my second or third time watching another Hecarim employer fight against another team. But, but anyways, the Blue's Crank I feel is pretty good so far. I'm just curious what the ADC is going to be. For top lane, um, Aatrox, Aatrox, I'm not sure from my experience, but um, I don't know. Because fighting against VOD is really a bit difficult. Like, well, yeah. What's your point? What, what do you view of this so for top lane? Um, so for the top lane matchup, I think Aatrox is in kind of a rough spot with the nerfs coming out, although they did improve his wave clear a little bit uh, lately with the latest patch. I feel he does work well into the Vladimir if you play it correctly, but I think the red team, just with the stronger scaling comp, they might take this away if they you know, pull it to the late game. So we'll just have to see if the blue team can accelerate this game to the point where they're able to break the base before the red team hits their power spikes. Mm, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, and it looks like the Jinx coming out for the bot lane. Uh, Jinx, Jinx and Blitzcrank, very strong bot lane. Looks like they'll have a lot of kill potential down there. Pre-6 before the Zaya gets ultimate, but uh, we'll see if there's any jungle pressure for the red team to keep that bot lane in there. Let's see right now, we have a LeBlanc mid against Fizz, so this might be an interesting matchup. What are your what are your thoughts on that? How do you think it'll go? Uh, I feel like LeBlanc might dominate Fizz, but Fizz does have a lot of advantages when it comes for his was it his E or is his W that lets him be oh it's often. Oh, looks like there's a problem with uh, one of the teams right now. We'll just have to wait and see. Sorry about that. <laughs> if it was watching a video, we're just having some technical issues, so please. Bear with us for a bit. All right, looks like we've been able to restart the draft. And mm -hmm. It looks like it's going to be the same picks and bans. So. Yeah, and I actually want to talk about one of the bans for uh, blue side right here. They they banned away the Fiora. She's a very strong solo laner. Uh, she's able to push those turrets by herself now that her uh, Q uh, works on towers. Uh, very strong solo laner is able to just hold it out up there by herself. And pretty good ban right there, actually. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Uh, let's see. I'm surprised I see Twitch as part of the ban as well, because I really rarely see Twitch users when I'm playing League. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, what's your opinion about Twitch, though? Because I don't... Uh, in my opinion, uh, Twitch 
a very late game carry. So it 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 goes well with the, the draft that the red team has right now. Mm -hmm. So I, I think the red team is playing more towards the late game. They're trying to find ways to slow down the game so they could reach their late game and end the game. Because the blue side, it looks like they're heavily towards the early game. They're going to look for early snowball put picks, uh, picks in the jungle, perhaps. Yeah. Hmm. We also see the Fizz with, uh, looks like he's opting to take Ignite rather than Teleport. I'm not sure if this is, perhaps he's going for the level 2 Fizz Cheese with the W. Uh, yeah. But I prefer, you know, like, a Teleport on the mid lane. I think there's a, it brings a lot more map pressure uh, for your team. You can uh, engage fights. Uh, 3v5 and have the mid and the top laner teleport in and help you out? For me, I usually just grab an Ignite because I feel that it's better for me to get early kills. So at least I have like, at least better items for late game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it, it does make more sense as he is going an Assassin. But mm -hmm. I'd really love to see like, you know, uh, some roaming map pressure. I think map pressure is very important when you're trying to look for an early game snowball uh, yeah, and it looks like blue team is going to be able to do that with that Hecarim. They're going to be able to go across the map pretty quickly with the LeBlanc too as well. Mm -hmm. And perhaps maybe they're trying to snowball their Jinx in the bot lane with that Blitzcrank pick, pick as well. Yeah. How do you feel for the support still for Nautilus? Because I don't really, I feel like Nautilus could, is pretty much is compatible with Blitzcrank. Where I mean like both of them have Poins and pretty much tank in any just tank all the damage as he can mm -hmm. i think nautilus is a very strong support he has that a lot of cc he's pretty tanky early game yeah. and he works well with the kaisa as well but they do mm -hmm. have the zaya drafted so we'll just have to wait and see how they play this bot lane matchup But anyway, so far, how do you feel about the junglers? Because Hecarim has a lot of momentum, so he probably could easily help gank lanes more efficiently. But for Graves, the other hand, how do you feel about that? Uh, let's see. The Hecarim, pretty early. I think he falls off in the late game, however, mm -hmm. which is the strength of red team. Uh, Graves, I think, takes a while to get strong. He needs a couple of items, uh, the two item power spike. Uh, but the blue team, they do have the LeBlanc and Jinx. So their late game is also very strong. But that I think true. the red team overall has a better late game with that Zaya Vladimir. They can blow up the back line. And it's going to be very hard to kill that Vladimir late game when he gets his <laughs> items. <laughs> yeah. It was, it's kind of annoying fighting against Avad when he has lots of health. Banning his um, ability that goes to a uh, uh, pool of blood. So it's hard for you to hit him. And I'm I'm actually really <laughs> curious. Uh, we saw Nuguri uh, pull out the Kleptomancy, Cole, Vladimir in the top lane uh, during group stages. I'm wondering if the Vladimir took Phase Rush or Kleptomancy. I'm really excited to see. What I think it's Phase Rush. You think it's I believe, yeah? I believe it's Phase Rush. Mm -hmm. I think Phase Rush has a lot more team fight play, uh, able yeah. to chase down those kills after the initiation. Mm -hmm. uh, but against the Aatrox. He's he's, I think the Aatrox has to be lane bully if he wants to win this lane out. Yeah. Uh, but Vladimir in lane very easy to deal with or not easy but capable like, of dealing he, with. Yeah. So Aatrox probably might have to do some decent poking for early game as possible, mm -hmm. since Vlad can in instantly just recover someone's health back if he's not getting bullied or doesn't get ganked often in mm -hmm. this case. And if you're on the red side, you really have to be scared of this Blitzkrink pick. Because mm -hmm. if you're pulled in, you're you're dead. That's the Jinx E. You got multiple knockups from Aatrox, the the root from LeBlanc, Hecarim with the flank as well. It's it's a deadly pick if you get hooked. Yep, that's true. Plus Blitzkrink's all can also silence you, especially on able to use their abilities as well. Alright. 